So when it comes to trying to work out where to locate your system, obviously you've got to consider a few points. Firstly, the amount of space you have available to set it up. And secondly, you need to work out which way the sun travels through different seasons. Where we are here in the Southern Hemisphere, our winter sun travels through the Northern sky. North is over there. So we're going to get a good amount of morning sun and actually all the way pretty much all towards sunset, we're going to be getting sun on this system. Uh, come summer, we will also get about four to five hours of morning sun on here. And then in the afternoon, yeah, it will be shaded to an extent, but I'm not too concerned about that because we mainly grow a lot of leafy greens. Folks in the Northern Hemisphere, in America, Europe, and the UK, you'll be trying to position your system in a southerly facing position because that's where the sun travels through your winter sky. So we also need electricity to stay somewhere close enough to a stable electrical source. I've got um, a lead plugged into a power board in my box there and I'm running an external power lead underneath the floor of the deck and it comes down to under this grow bed here uh, where the two plugs are joined within a waterproof container. Definitely a good idea because you don't want any dew or anything to get in between the connection there and cause a short circuit. So um, your proximity to utilities is definitely something you need to consider. Not only the power, but also the water for topping up your sump tank as well. Now, as for the size of the system you can set up, you're actually limited by the amount of biofiltration you have. Now, there's a general rule of thumb that says you can have one fish you want to grow out to one pound or 500 grams per 25 litres of biofiltration you have in your grow beds, which is this clay media, or it could be rocks or lava rocks or something along those lines. So what we need to do is work out how much area we can dedicate to a grow bed and then how much in volume those grow beds will be. And then from there, um, you want to make sure that your fish tank is at least large enough to give every fish you have in there 25 litres of water. 